Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO City Air Show Jet. Set number 60177, 87 pieces. So pretty small set, but it does come with this really cool airplane. And, um, you know, the back of the box kind of shows you some of the features. Mine arrived a little dented. I did order this online and um, I don't know where that dent came from because the box was not dented. So it must have happened while it was in the warehouse somewhere. But that's okay. I'm sure the contents are just fine, so I'm not worried about that dent at all. You can see they pack it in a lot of air, so it kind of gives a little room for some slight damage to the box. No big deal. All right, so we have a, for 87 pieces, this is actually a very large sticker sheet. Um, if this was a 800 piece set, um, this sticker sheet wouldn't feel that big, but considering we don't even have a hundred parts, that's a very large set or a very large sticker sheet. All right, so we have a single instruction book. No big deal there. Two bags of parts. So let's start by dumping them out and onto the floor. Already got parts hitting the floor. That's our big bag. Here's the smaller bag that was in the big bag. Dump that right to the side. And let's just jump right into this. So I'm going to turn this down just slightly. It'll be easier for you guys to see what's going on. So we do have our, our only minifigure for the set. It is the pilot for the jet. And I like the sunglasses that this guy's wearing. You can see it's a single printed face, um, but those shades are really cool. He does have a white helmet and the windscreen piece. So it's kind of doubling up on some wind or uh, sun glare or whatever. So there's our pilot. He's got the dark gray gloves on because obviously their hands are supposed to be yellow. So many times the hands are not yellow, that means they're wearing some sort of gloves. So that is our only minifigure. He does not have an accessory or anything in his hand because he's going to have his hands full with this jet. So we're going to start with some plates as always. No big deal. And then we also have these wedge plates. And we're on step number four already. Two more plates, one and two. Turn this guy over and we have some clear one by two plates. Simply gonna go like that. Turn it back around. And two more gray plates. Move that to the side for a second. We have a little sub assembly. All right, so with those two pieces there. We'll go there. Got two grill tiles. And two of these two by four tiles. And these are going to get our first stickers. So we have sticker number six. Yeah, it says sticker number six. Okay, here it is. rectangular two by four sized sticker. That's our first one. And the second one. I like this sticker. Um, and I'll show you why here in a second after I put it on. So you can see we have some numbers there. 60177. And that is the uh, set number that this uh, is referred to. 
you can see the same numbers there, 60177. So I like when they do that because it's kind of a, um, kind of a, a breadcrumb to where this piece came from or where, uh, what set it came from. So in the future, if I ever look at this and I go, hey, I kind of like this tile with the sticker. I wonder where I got that. That'll be able to tell me. I'll be able to look it up and, and see. So, you know, some people may not really care for the reference, but I, I like little, little references like that. All right, so we have a couple of these wedge pieces. Now we'll go there. stick controls there the seat back and here's the front little wedge piece for the airplane all right so now we have another couple panels that are going to have stickers so i'm actually going to put the pieces on first and then put the sticker on so sticker number nine, and this is similar to that other tile that we just looked at. It has the set number printed on the side of this sticker. So you can see the 60177, as does this other one. Carefully stick it on there. Try to get it as straight as possible. Sometimes these longer ones for me are a lot easier to put on than the shorter ones or the, the round ones. Any type of sticker that has some sort of curve always gives me a little bit of trouble. Brackets. So there's going to be a lot of brackets. I see a bunch of brackets on the table. So this one being on the back. And then we're going to do two more right here. The black plate. And a two by three plate there. Two of these plates that have clips on it. So that will be where the, the windscreen will probably attach to. So we got two more brackets with a yellow brick in the middle. Four more brackets. And we have this gray brick. Okay, it's right in there. So that is all of our brackets going down the sides. So we have this sloped piece. It'll go here. This is pretty cool. I like this connection. So we also have this other sloped piece, but you can see it has this little, little fin kind of sticking up. But when we put it right next to this slope, it actually fits perfectly in there. So it's like it was designed to fit on that particular shape. So very cool and thought out detail for this particular set. So we have some pieces that are going to go on the side on these brackets. The slope is going to get the sticker, sticker number 10. Now we have 
sticker number two. This guy. Go right there. So these are one of the type of stickers that I'm talking about that gives me a little bit of trouble because it's just a weird shape. It's not rectangular. Alright, turn this around. We're basically going to repeat same steps and you know what I did is I used the wrong color piece in there I need this gray one for out here so we have our slope again tires are my least favorite to put together because those little micro pins they will stab you in the fingers with absolute no remorse at all okay so that's two of them we have one more I'm trying to carefully do this without hurting myself who knew I would say that while building a, a Lego set? But I'm trying not to hurt myself. All right, so those three simply go like that. Turn this around. We have a little heads up display screen here with our nose cone. Here is our windscreen. Goes right there. We have our rear fin piece. our last sticker we are done with our stickers this piece will simply attach here we have a jumper tile and our big jet engine exhaust piece right there and there you go that completes the air show jet so you can see our windscreen simply opens up put him in a seated position him in there move that down pretend like you can actually hold on to it you really can't based on the way minifigures arms move but there you go cool stuff right there so pretty cool I like the um, I like the color scheme the red and the blue is really cool um, as far as parts there's really not too many that I would consider really great parts unless you're definitely into building airplanes and jets so you tell me your thoughts, put a comment down below. Don't forget to check out all the links I have down there as well. If you love this Lego City build, then you'll love all of the other Lego City builds that I have on my channel. So there'll be a link down there to take you right to them all. You can binge watch them and uh, you know, check out all the other videos I have. If maybe you're not into City, but you wanna see other build videos, tons and tons of stuff down there. So check it all out and we'll see you in the next one.